my parents started our family in a hippie commune. And my dad was an alcoholic, my mom was a drug addict. It was just a drug infested, natural man situation. And my parents had already, you know, felt those stirrings, like, it's not so great to live this way. We need to do something different, but they didn't know what to do, where to start. And it was the gospel of Jesus Christ that taught them a different way and how to put off that natural man. And it, it was such a testimony to me of the power of the atonement that my parents were able to overcome their addictions and completely walk away and never turn back. And not only that, but turn around and give their lives to such love and service of other people. Amber, would you say, as, as King Benjamin mentions in chapter three, as soon as he gives the invitation to put off the natural man, what did you see your parents do that you would, would, you would say allowed them to become a saint based off of what we see in verse 19? You know, I think it was a step-by-step, step, small and simple process. It wasn't something that was overnight, but they were willing to open their hearts to the idea that there was something better you know, it started with walking in the chapel doors and feeling something they had never felt before and wanting to feel that again. It was opening the scriptures and realizing, wow, there is the word of God available to me here. And then taking those things and actually using it to change their lives. I mean, they ended up adopting eight children, found, you know, 13 kids all together and just really loving other people, and I think that's what refined them to truly become a saint. <laughs>